What's up YouTube? This is Daniel and I'm back with my next video. And in this video, I'll be answering the question, what is blockchain and what is cryptocurrency? Let's jump right in. Blockchain is a decentralized ledger technology or DLT for short. It is a technology where the ledger data is made secure and immutable by cryptography, by chaining or linking of block data and by distribution or decentralization. Cryptocurrency or crypto for short is the digital asset that is often speculated for its price appreciation over time. Cryptocurrency is an asset on the blockchain. It can be referred to the money of the network or the medium of exchange. These are usually represented as tokens and this allows the tokenization of value on the blockchain. Cryptocurrencies can have multiple uses. It can be used for fees, for payments, for governance, even for staking to secure the network. However, cryptocurrencies are not essential in the blockchain. Blockchain technology enables the use of cryptocurrencies. In other words, blockchain is the technology that is underlying cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are the medium of exchange on a particular blockchain network. We are able to use the blockchain technology without using cryptocurrencies. And in some use cases, the blockchains don't actually have a cryptocurrencies. These could include the storing of identification records. It could be for supply chain tracking, and it also could be for online privacy, and the list does go on. And so, for example, some of the more well-known blockchain uh, networks have their own cryptocurrencies. So for the Bitcoin blockchain, it uses the Bitcoin as the cryptocurrency BTC, right? For the Ethereum network, it uses Ether as the cryptocurrency or ETH. For the Terra blockchain, it uses Luna, uh, the Luna token as a cryptocurrency. For the Phantom Opera blockchain, it uses the Phantom token or FTM. And the list does continue on. Some benefits of the blockchain would include creating trust between two people who do not really know one another. And this creation of trust does facilitate transactions between two parties who need not know one another. The second benefit is that it improves the speed of transaction and reduces its cost. It actually reduces the need for intermediaries, which sometimes causes the transaction fees to be higher or it causes uh, the transaction to take a long time to be processed. The third benefit is that it allows tokenization of value and that these tokens can be traded between different parties on the network. Fourthly, it also allows a decentralization and a reduction of a single point of weakness as it allows real-time data sharing between parties participating on the blockchain. Finally, blockchain technology allows things to be immutable such that the transactions cannot be changed or deleted. With such benefits, it is no wonder why people and businesses have taken an interest in blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies today. I believe that blockchain technology will change the world. And in fact, it has already started to disrupt some industries and forced others to rethink and refine their processes in light of blockchain technology. Today, cryptocurrencies experience volatile price changes all the time. And investing in them may not be suitable for everyone. So always do your own research and make sure you know what you're actually buying. If you're interested to find out how blockchain actually works, do remember to hit the like and subscribe to be notified of the next video that I'll be uploading about how blockchain actually works. And with that, see you next time.